Hey everybody, it's Dave from Projector People back again today to show off a very special unit. Here today we have a brand new unit, not even released yet, coming out in July. This is the Hitachi LP EU 5002 5000 lumen laser 3 LCD projector. Let's get to it. Okay, great. We are back, and in front of me I have uh, Hitachi's new laser unit. Uh, like I mentioned, this is a 5000 lumen laser. This model here, the EU5002, is a WUXGA 1920 by 1200 uh, resolution model. They also have a sister model to this, which is the EW5002. So if you're looking for something, you don't need that amount of resolution, you're looking for something a little bit less expensive, uh, that might be a good option for you. That's a WXGA. 1280 by 800. Just know that everything I'm talking about with this model is pretty applicable to the WXGA version except for the price. Okay, so with that being said, let's talk a little bit about this this unit. It looks pretty big, but it's really not that heavy. So it comes in under 17 pounds, very light uh, for the size. It's around 20 inches by 17 inches, about six inches high, five and a half inches high. Uh, it has a fixed uh, lens on the front. Uh, no lens shift, but it has a really respectable throw range coming in at 1.3 to 2.1. So there's a lot of versatility in your uh, placement, your flexibility of placement. Uh, it's a collegiate model. It's an entry level collegiate model, um, which is why there's no lens shift. If you do need that, there's other models available from Hitachi, uh, but we're talking about this one today. Um, and when you see this thing in action, you're going to be blown away because it looks fantastic. Uh, the 5000 lumen laser, the LCD, just makes the picture quality so sharp and crisp. The contrast comes in at 500,000 to 1, um, so you have really good levels of blacks and detail, uh, several different viewing modes. It also has a, um, a special contrast mode, depending on what you're showing. So, uh, you know, you're probably not going to be watching a lot of video for this, depending on your application, but even though this is categorized as a collegiate model, this would be a great option for something like a sports bar, somewhere where it's going to get a lot of use um, and you, you know, you can get that, uh, that good resolution uh, with the video. It, it comes across looking fantastic and you'll see that in the demo in just a second. It's loaded with inputs. Uh, it's got a 1.6 times zoom um, and, you know, let's just take a look at the back right now and see how this thing connects and we'll talk a little more about this. We're taking a look at the top of this uh, EU5002. And right here is where the lens is. This is the new chassis uh, that Hitachi has for 2018. I love this design. It's still their blend-in design, so it's going to kind of uh, you know match with the ceiling there. Um, but it's got this nice little, little uh, cubby uh, for the lens for protection. You have your fine focus uh, wheel, which is real smooth and nice. And then you have your 1.6 times zoom um, right here. So. Really nice, but once you have it set, it's going to be good to go. Uh, and then you have all your standard, uh, you know, options from the top um, or below. Uh, you have your menu, your input selections, and then your on and off button. Uh, one quick thing to talk about with on and off is this unit uh, comes with actually all of Hitachi's units uh, come with a scheduling feature, um, which you can either use their free software, which you can get from Hitachi and run it through your network. Or, in this case, uh, the scheduling software is actually built right into the unit. So if you're in a classroom or a church or wherever and you want to have it automatically turn on uh, during certain times of day and turn off uh, in case someone forgets to do that, you can set that up in here. It's all programmable by the day. You can have multiple day functions. Um, so you can have multiple on and off uh, within the day. Really cool feature, something a lot of other manufacturers are not doing, but it's a, it's a very requested feature, surprisingly. So. Great, and here we are looking at the back of this, and if you thought you had some connections, uh, this thing is going to be able to take them. Uh, we have, starting from left to right, uh, you have your audio out, and I was fortunate to have uh, the rep from um, Hitachi here with me today, Andrew, and I was asking him, uh, you know, how common it is for these audio inputs to be used, and he gave me a great point, in case you guys aren't familiar. Um, what we'll see a lot of times is uh, a teacher will be running video to the projector or something to the projector, run their audio out from the laptop into the audio in, and then run that out to maybe a speaker system in the, in the classroom. Uh, the benefit of that is that you can use the variable audio feature from Hitachi and control the volume with the remote. 
So that way you don't, you're don't you not worried about multiple worlds. Just kind of a little off topic, but I, I thought you might find it interesting. We have uh, three HDMI inputs, uh, one of which is MHL, in case you have something that needs the power. Uh, you have your two USB, uh, standard USB ports. Um, you can, uh, you know, do your present, uh, your laptop presentations without the laptop, uh, so to speak. Um, so if you have images or uh, files loaded up onto those, you can plug that right in through a USB stick and run those directly through the projector. Then you have your network connectivity. So if you have Crestron or anything, or if this is being monitored with an, another array of projectors, uh, that's great for that. You have USB type B. Uh, and then over here, we have our, our standard RGB uh, inputs. Or, uh, and then you have your dual computer in with a monitor out and your control systems and your power. So it's got a Kensington lock, so that's fantastic. Um, everything you need. It also has 16 watt uh, mono speaker in the back. So that's great if you do need to run audio directly from the projector without sending it out. Uh, it's more than capable of doing that. So let's take a look at this thing in action.